Good evening everyone, I'm Nathan, here with my wonderful wife Laura. Hello! And we're here to take a look at the Monopoly Milk Chocolate Edition. We sure are. So it's coming up to Christmas here, well not just here in Australia but everywhere, but at Big W in Australia they are selling milk chocolate versions of Monopoly, Uno and Scrabble. So we picked up Monopoly being Monopoly lovers yeah. all. <laughs> so this was $15. It was. So um, I think a little what? expensive considering you can probably play it once because the pieces and things are chocolate. And presumably people will eat them as you play it. Um, we have 24 pieces of milk chocolate in here, some cards, a spinner, a game board, and some game rules included. I should hope so. <gasps> but it's, it's <laughs> Belgian quality. Yeah, apparently. Whatever that means. Um, so I've had one of these in the past, like a long time ago when I was a kid with my mum. I remember getting, I think it was like a Monopoly, maybe like a Trivial Pursuit back then. Then they so, disappeared for a couple of, you know, a good chunk of years. And yeah. The last couple of years, here they are. Here they are, and we thought, well, we've got to check one of those out. All right. Yep. I'm not quite sure if I could compare to the old ones from my childhood. My guess is... I don't remember that much about them aside from they existed. <laughs> my guess it's going to taste like waxy, crummy chocolate, but that's not really the point of this, is it? No. So this is obviously meant as like, you know, a, a, a talking point at maybe like your family gathering near Christmas or a Christmas party, something uh, like that. Let's see. So it's all in multiple languages. So we'll have a scan up below. Um... But I'm, uh, presumably it plays like... I'm assuming so. Well, no, it doesn't no. quite play like regular If a Monopoly. spinner stops on a chance of a community chess card, player takes the card and does what it says. And not just the cards, but the bank gives each player three chocolates. Because mm. obviously there's no money. The, the chocolates are the currency, so... So the actual English rules is just in this section here. Yeah. So attach everything and pull, push everything out, which we'll get to in a moment. You get three chocolates. Youngest player starts. Uh, if it stops on a colour square, train a waterworks, takes a matching mm -hmm. card from the table and place it on the game board on a matching square. It's the next player's turn. If it stops on a community chest or chance, you pull one of those cards. If the arrow stops on a square, whose cards are on the board, turn the arrow again. And once the player completes, it's probably the same colour arrow, and he receives a chocolate from the bank. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or you could just pause it and read it instead of listening to Nathan mumble. Basically, uh, once all the properties have been completed, the player who has the most chocolates win. Yes. So we're not going to play it only because then we're handling the chocolate a whole bunch and we might actually want to use that, this as a, as a family later. If it doesn't melt underneath all the lights we're filming under. Well, let's hope not. So we're more just going to have a look at what's included. So there's like the properties. They're just sort of serrated, sort of thin cardboard you can sort of push out. Mm -hmm. So we've got um, kind of some of the regular property sort of symbols that you might see there and then a whole bunch of... Um, jail fingers or put something <laughs> pointing back and... at everything presumably if we turn them over they've got which ones are community chest which ones are chances and then just the monopoly logo on the others so uh, this one is go to jail uh, get out of jail free take a property card of your choice from the table and place on the game board just two of those yep uh, that's return one of your chocolates back to the bank <gasps> Not one of your chocolates. Uh, uh, that's give the player to your left one of your chocolates, and I shouldn't give the player to one of your right or right, vice that's versa. That's right, that's left, yep. All players give you one of their chocolates. Oh my. Uh, skip one turn, and then take a property card of your choice from the game board and place it with the other cards next to the game board. Right, so it's got all of that, and then we have all of the like property colors up here um no names or anything on the cards and it, again it they is, just say monopoly it is a full back. list of properties though it hasn't been shortened to two properties per sort of um set no which some do no. um they are quite thin but again this is probably a one-time only sort of game so i mean theoretically i suppose you could probably play i mean it's, it's per chocolate i suppose you could use other bits of chocolate or something <laughs> you but... could yes so the next thing we have is our game uh, board is a loose term it's paper it's sort of it's, it's thicker than like a regular piece of paper but we're, we're not talking game board quality here no again not something that they probably expect you to keep and, and replay so the board itself looks oh, Nathan's just adjusting so you can see a bit better um fairly similar to what you would see on a regular monopoly with the same properties it's pretty much identical corners, the same names and yep. layout tax you know, um, spaces for your community chess cards and your chance cards. The only difference is the uh, spinner, which I assume acts as the dice. Yes. You could probably get a dice out, I guess. Maybe. Oh, no, because it doesn't... No, you no. wouldn't use a dice, no. All right. In the middle of the box here, we have another little box um, with a little see-through lid, which has everything else just sort of all in there. And then it says chocolate and in chocolate games in many languages. 
You have to let us know if in your country you've got this, because obviously it's exported to the world, judging from how many languages yes. are on the box, so. Why can't I get this open? That's oh, all It's very flimsy cardboard. I was trying not to rip it, but that meant I couldn't get it out. So they're, they're literally, they're not like marking denominations or anything. No, no. They're just... That's why it's three chocolates. So theoretically yeah. you could reuse it if the chocolates were either eaten or went bad. Or yeah, use other chocolates. You know, buy a box of like Cadbury Favourites or yeah. um, yeah, what are they, roses or something like that and divvy those up instead. So there's the spinner, so it's just on a sprue. I assume you put this underneath. I don't think this will attach that well personally because they're plastic spinner pieces, but like the board is pretty thin. Ugh. Again, not sure you can. It's more like a game mat. Yes, it ripped the um the hole wasn't quite big enough for the <laughs> spinner. Of course it wasn't. There you go. There's so, your I mean, spinner. You, you can put it in there reasonably, but you wouldn't be able to like go back and no take no. it back out without probably causing more damage. So basically, you go around spinning, getting properties. Putting back, getting chocolates yep. until all the chocolates are gone, or uh, sorry, all the properties have been purchased or mm -hmm. taken. Who have got the most wins? The question is, what does the chocolate taste like? Yeah, so we're not going to do a full playthrough, like I said, because we'll use this um, but in I some will. way later on. But would you like to share a? We, yes, we will try the Belgian Belgian quality Belgian chocolate. quality milk chocolate. Yes, well, I've had some pretty average Belgian quality chocolate before, to be honest. We have. Yeah. Um, it does also say it's got like the Rainforest Alliance symbol, so presumably the cocoa is, you know, sustainably sourced or something along those lines. Smells cheap. Look, it's no Cadbury chocolate. No. But it's better than what you'd get from, say, like a dollar store or a reject shop, whatever your equivalent discount store is. It tastes like the sort of chocolate you get in an advent calendar. Yeah. Because it's effectively. Behind the scenes, it's probably made by the same, like, people who make, like, at chocolate advent calendar. Yeah, but so just at a guess, I don't know that for sure, but that's what it tastes it's like. It's possible, but I think the whole shtick of it is yeah. like, you know, chocolate board game fun sort of thing. So. Just the novelty. Yeah, talking point, nice little like party thing if you're into board games with your family or friends at, at Christmas time. I do wish it was maybe like $12 instead of 15 because at 15 sometimes monopolies get discount down to 15 and 12 and an actual... When they're being like cleared out. An actual mm. like proper monopoly, so... Yeah. But they don't come with chocolate. They don't. They, <laughs> they, they, this is what this does have. It's just a little fun thing. Um, I would imagine that the Scrabble and the Uno kind of have a similar thing where they play and look similar to the normal game, but, uh, you know, shortened a little bit for mm. chocolate eating versions. Let us know if you've obviously played those two mm. or any other versions throughout the years because we know they've been around at least there in was, some form. Yeah, there was definitely a Trivial Pursuit when I was younger as well that they made because I remember playing it with my mum, so. I vaguely remember my dad having one and then he didn't use it and then I found it like 15 years later in one of his drawers and I wasn't game enough to open any of the chocolates. I say, yeah, mm. they probably don't last very well. Uh, if you enjoyed watching this video, give us a thumbs up. Let us know in the comment section down below. Um, one, if you have looked at the other versions of this and what were they sort of like, how did they tailor it? And uh, also, do you play board games at like Christmas time with fam family and friends? Uh, Monopoly always seems to be the one that people play at Christmas. Does it? But it causes the most <laughs> arguments. Mm, hit that subscribe button and check back soon. We have videos every single Tuesday. Sounds good. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.